Journal entry 001. Let's get this straight from the start. I'm no be special. I've not saved the life of a prime or a prowler progenitor. I've not discovered the cure for form fatigue or won the Namas Prize for medicine, and as far as I know, they haven't named a spaceship after me. The point is, no one's asked me to write this journal. This is something I've decided to do myself. You never show any initiative, says Ambulon. Yeah, well, this is me showing initiative. This is me trying to tell the outside world what's gone wrong. Because what's happening here cannot be allowed to happen again. Not ever. My name's First Aid. I'm a nurse. I used to be a doctor, but I was demoted. I was accused of erratic behavior and obsessive slash compulsive tendencies. Rung's words, not mine. Damn it, First Aid. I can't ignore this. Ambulance, my ward manager. Catchy. Really bad paintwork. You can still see his old life underneath. I don't mean to speak ill of the soon-to-be-dead, but he can be a real gear stick sometimes. I mean, obsessive? I have a passing interest in Autobot badges. That is all. Apparently, it interfered with my work. I'm just typing whatever comes to my head now. If I get a chance, I'll come back and edit out all the silly little details. Or maybe I won't. Maybe it's the silly little details that matter. I'm posted at Delphi, a medical outpost on the edges of DJD territory. It's an obscure little facility. Or rather, it was. By the time you pull this data pad from its left of my fingers, Delphi will be a swear word or a threat or a warning. The kind of word that makes people break eye contact. DJD equals Decepticon Justice Division, by the way. They specialize in extreme punishment. They hunt down Decepticons who've defected or deserted and murder them in the most exaggerated way possible. I guess this all started with the DJD. Three days ago, there was a knock at the door. Let us in, please! We surrender, just open up! They were Genericons, frontline fodder. You could tell by the size and shade of their badges. They'd been attacked by the DJD and wanted safe haven. We were obliged to take them in. Article 7 of the Autobot Code, apparently. Ambulon immediately took pity on them. Pharma immediately didn't. Pharma's in charge. Control freak. Thinks he's an expert on everything. Amazing doctor, though. He once performed a four-way fuel pump transplant, and he was one of the donors. Now, Pharma's got this thing about Decepticons. Hates him. I mean, sure, we all hate him, but he hates them. He was a better center of visitors back outside when Ambulon said, They're weaponless and clearly traumatized. What are you afraid of? You think they're gonna whimper us to death? What about their alt modes? First aid's right. For all we know, they can turn into class 3 ruination tanks. But here's the thing. They didn't have any alt modes. They were members of Triple M. Triple M equals militant moniform movement, a religious faction who reject adaptus by having their transformation cogs removed. They showed Ambulon their scars. Yeah. Textbook extraction. The scanner agrees with you. The whole transformation cog has been cut out. The atmosphere changed. These days, everyone says they're lax about the whole monoformer thing, but there's still a lot of shapism out there. A lot of prejudice. Ambulon convinced himself that the Genericons were victims of a shape hate crime. Gets all passionate about it. For pity's sake, Pharma. They're not carrying anything, and they can't turn into anything. Alright, you and First Aid lock them up while I prepare the circus labs. Just a patch-up job, though. Enough to satisfy Article 7, and then we ask High Command what to do with them. And that was the end of that? Almost. Pharma, you're not going to believe this. The Monos are hurting. They say they've got proximity pains. It turns out they shared a branch spark, a sort of overlapping nervous system. And because they were close to full synthesis, you're going to have to operate. If you can join them, it might save their lives. Farm never got to perform the operation, because not long after that phone call, people started crying. First aid! Where the hell are you? I need you to help me hold this one down. Crying themselves to death. I hope to write more later, but if not, if these are my last words, I just want to say that we tried our best. We did. It just wasn't good enough.